I think there's a couple of reasons why the Raiders will actually be better in 2023 than they were in 2022. So much so that I think the Raiders can actually make the playoffs this year. I know a lot of people may disagree with this video and, and, and kind of what I'm about to talk about, but I'm going to give you guys facts and, and evidence as to why I believe the Raiders will actually be better this year than they were last year. To me, I think where the Raiders are kind of at right now, they're not the perfect team, right? But they are building towards it and they are better this year than they were last year. And I think that's pretty clear based off of the depth, the talent, the actual players, plus year two of a brand new scheme. To me, the Raiders are much better this year. And again, I think some people are sleeping on the Raiders. And I want to talk about just a couple of reasons why I actually like this team. Uh, first and foremost, I want to talk a little bit about the run scheme a little bit because I don't think people realize this. Uh, but as someone who watches tape of the Raiders offensive line, uh, one of the trends that I noticed is in the first 10 weeks of the Raiders season, they ran a lot of power runs, right? So that's uh, that's man-on-man -man blocking, uh, gap blocking, uh, those type of things that are really based around power. It's really based off of uh, angles and those type of things. Uh, and they didn't run a whole lot of inside or outside zone in the first 10 weeks. In fact, 77% of the Raiders runs last year in the first 10 weeks were power-based runs. And in the uh, last eight games, right, weeks 11 through the end of the season, that number dropped from 77% down to 60%. So what that means is in the final eight games, the Raiders actually got more comfortable with the scheme the guys up front got more consistent and the Raiders were able to run more zone runs to kind of end the season. And I think that led the Raiders to having more success down the line. Uh, and Josh Jacobs numbers kind of back that up a little bit as well. If you guys look at his numbers from the first nine games compared to the last eight games. Uh, so the Raiders went from running zone only 23% of the time up to 40% of the time last season. And the reason why that's important is if you can even that number out, you know, if you run inside zone just as much as outside zone, just as much as man blocking, power block, all of those things, if you can make it all equal, it makes it hard for a defense to kind of guess what the offense is doing. It makes it hard to blitz certain gaps, to attack certain schemes, and it makes it easier as a team to be able to run the football because you're doing so many different things. The defense can't really adjust to all of it, right? The blocking is much different when you look at outside zones, the blocking angles, all that type of stuff changes. And I think this year, the Raiders are going to be more comfortable, right? We got the same entire offensive line returning from last year into this year. I know some people may look at that as a negative. I think that's a positive. I know we can probably still upgrade the right side of the offensive line a little bit, um, especially the right guard position. I think the right tackle will be fine for this season. But the right guard position, I think, could be upgraded. And maybe it does naturally get upgraded during, during camp. Maybe some guys step up. Uh, but I think... We're pretty much the same unit, and I think going into this year, going into year two of a new scheme, I think we're going to be a lot better running the football. And it's not even just Josh Jacobs. I think Zermir White's going to get involved. I think guys like Britton Brown, since even Sincere McCormick, could potentially get involved. I think the Raiders are going to be much better this year running the football because of the fact that guys are all kind of coming into the same scheme. Josh McDaniels does a really nice job designing the run, and I think that's that's kind of underrated a little bit. Uh, but I expect the Raiders to have more success in that aspect. But another reason why I think the Raiders are going to have success, and I know this is going to piss a lot of people off, but is I actually think we're upgrading at the quarterback position. Uh, I actually think Jimmy Garoppolo is an upgrade over Derek Carr. And I'm not saying Derek Carr is a bad quarterback, but what I'm saying is... I think Jimmy Garoppolo has more upside. And I kind of want to get into this just a little bit. First and foremost, they're pretty much the same age. Uh, they're, Jimmy Garoppolo right now is 31. He'll turn 32 in about three months. Derek Carr is 32, but he only turned 32 three months ago. So they're basically the same age. They're about six months apart. Uh, they basically play the same amount of NFL seasons, right? But the big difference is the number of dropbacks that these guys have had. Right, Derek Carr has been healthy. He's been consistent. Uh, he's taken over 5,400 dropbacks, right? To throw the football, he's dropped back over 5,400 times. Jimmy Garoppolo has dropped back much, much less. Uh, only 2,032 dropbacks for Jimmy Garoppolo. So that's a massive difference. 5,400 times, I mean, you're going to, you know, you've gotten hit more. 
You've taken more sacks. But it also means, you know, you're consistent. It also means you're, uh, you know, likely to have better numbers and those type of things as Derek Carr does, right? Derek Carr is clearly a better quarterback, right, in terms of passing than Jimmy Garoppolo. But Jimmy Garoppolo does have a lot less usage. And I think for those two guys to be the same age, the fact that Jimmy Garoppolo doesn't have as much usage, I think it's going to go a long way because I think last year, one of the things we saw with Derek is he kind of regressed a little bit, right? His pocket awareness, his pocket presence, his ability to really do things that we saw him do consistently over his career early on, especially that really took a downward trend, right? In my opinion, Derek Carr got much worse last season in his ability, right? I'm not talking about the mental factors and those. I'm talking about his ability to get it done got worse last year. And with Jimmy Garoppolo, the thing with that is, is I think Jimmy Garoppolo is, is better in the pocket uh, in terms of pocket presence. He knows when to step up. He knows when to step right. I think he's better in terms of making plays, right? Derek Carr may be faster than Jimmy Garoppolo, but Jimmy Garoppolo mentally is, is able to roll out right, roll out left when needed. And I think that goes a long way, right? When you're able to do things, not because you're physically able to do it, but because mentally you're able to actually do things right you're, you're willing to do things which i think jimmy garoppolo is i think that kind of goes a long way and i do think jimmy garoppolo i know he's played a lot of football as well but jimmy garoppolo's played less than half of the amount of he's had less than half of the amount of dropbacks that Derek carr has had jimmy garoppolo could still technically get better uh, i think he'll last longer from this point forward than will Derek carr Right, because he's taken so many less snaps, he's gotten hit less, he's he's gotten sacked less, all those things, right? Um, plus, I think Jimmy Garoppolo obviously fits the scheme better, right? We uh, heard Derek Carr kind of say in his own in his own words that uh, the scheme didn't fit him correctly, and you know because of that he may have had some regrets. Uh, obviously, he didn't see eye to eye with the quarterback. I'm sorry, with the head coach this past season. Um, and therefore, you know, maybe he didn't give his best effort because of that. You know, people did criticize Josh McDaniels a little bit uh, for maybe the control that he wants of his offense. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Josh McDaniels won multiple Super Bowls running this offense. So to me, if Josh McDaniels thinks that's going to work, if Mark Davis believes in it, if Dave Ziegler believes in it, uh, get a quarterback that can run it. And obviously, Jimmy Garoppolo is coming here and he'll put that effort in. And, and the hope is that he can run this offense correctly and the Raiders have success plus you know people have this misconception that Jimmy Garoppolo is like a trash quarterback and people don't rally behind him uh, and that's not a fact you know in fact I, I saw this uh, article here where apparently Jimmy Garoppolo has the respect of former all pro teammate that is Debo Samuel uh, Debo Samuel went on to a podcast talk, and he talked a little bit about Jimmy Garoppolo he said let me just keep it real uh, we can take it back to the Titans game when Jimmy G hurt his thumb. Remember, he already had his shoulder issue. The guy comes back a week after hurting his thumb, almost had to have surgery. The man can barely grip the football, but comes back and has the season that we needed him to have in order to put us in position to win. Mind you, he can barely grip the football. He's got a shoulder injury. That's why I respect Jimmy 100%. Don't nobody know what the guy really goes through. So you think about it, you think about that as a quarterback, not being able to use your thumb the way you need to use it and you've got a, shoulder, a right shoulder injury and still play the way you play, that's all I need to see. Uh, so Debo Samuel had high words to talk about Jimmy Garoppolo and Debo Samuel's not the only guy, right? Other people have had really positive things to say about Jimmy G. And I think those little things go a, lot, a long way. You know, well, one of the things that I've noticed talking to certain certain players is they don't see things the way that I, I see it, right? And 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 I, and I say that because they see things in a different light, right? Because they're actually in the in the in the in the facility, they're on the field, they're playing, and they're doing things with these guys. And and I say that to say this: I may look at Jimmy Garoppolo and say he's kind of an average quarterback. But a player with Jimmy Garoppolo might say, this guy can get it done. This guy is a fighter. He has a thumb injury. He doesn't give a crap. He'll play, right? Guys will look at things differently because I'll be the first to tell you guys, I think Derek Carr is a better passer of the football than is Jimmy Garoppolo. And I do think we downgraded in that aspect. But someone else may tell you, well, you know, Jimmy Garoppolo can roll out of the pocket when needed, even with a hurt leg. He doesn't 
he doesn't care. He ha- he has it, right? He'll do it. I think people respect Jimmy Garoppolo, and I think that's very, very clear. And when you consider all of those different factors, I think Jimmy Garoppolo is going to be more successful in this scheme. I think he'll last longer than Derek Carr going forward because he's played a lot less, right? And I hope that makes sense. Um, I think the Raiders did upgrade at the quarterback position for this scheme, but I think there's one other thing, um, and that is the Raiders actually have an easier schedule in 2023 that I don't think people realize. The Raiders actually have a favorable schedule in 2023. You know, one of the very hardest things to do in the NFL is play on Monday Night Football and not just play on Monday Night Football, but Every other week, you're playing Sunday, right? And then when you play on Sunday, you get up Monday, you you get in the ice bath, you have this routine on Monday, uh, you go into the building on Tuesday, you start learning, whatever it is, and then Wednesday comes, you practice, Thursday, you know, you you have this schedule for the season every week, assuming you're playing on Sunday. Well, the Raiders actually get six games where teams are playing on Monday Night Football, and, and let me talk about that a little bit. You know, if you play on Monday Night Football, your entire week gets thrown off because now you, although you're going to rest that Tuesday, you have one less day to get ready. You have one less day to practice and prepare for this next team. Playing on Monday Night Football really, really impacts a team. And somehow the Raiders got six games against teams that are coming off those Monday Night Football games. Think about this. Warren Sharp said, I never thought this was possible. It's never happened before. Somehow the Raiders get to play six games first teams coming off Monday Night Football. To me, this is set up this way for the Raiders to, tr- to potentially have a little bit of success. You know, some people say, oh, this is a conspiracy theory or this or that. Uh, this is fact, right? The NFL does this. They'll put certain teams, in, you know, that may be, you know, supposed to be better. They'll put them against other teams on primetime games and those type of things. They'll help certain teams that may not be as good that they may want to have success. They'll give them easier games. And this year, they just happened to do that with the Raiders. So they favored the Raiders by giving them an easier schedule. And I think this goes a long way. Again, coming off of a Monday night football game versus a Sunday night football game, it makes a big difference. And I don't have the stats, but I'm sure someone can run the stats. You know, go back 10 years and look at what the record of of a team is coming off of Monday Night Football or the average or whatever. And then look at the average of every other game, right? I guarantee you the average of the Sunday is higher than of that Monday, right? I don't know. I I just think that is that's back, you know, but uh, the Raiders schedule is easier this year. Uh, Obviously, we still have our divisional games and our divisional games are going to be six. You know, they're going to be tough as hell games, right? And we have to be able to split all of those games and if we lose to the chiefs twice then we got to beat the broncos twice right we got to go at least three and three in the division this year and it's going to be hard because the chiefs are obviously the chiefs um, and we play the chiefs later on in the season as opposed to earlier in the season and i think that does make a difference you know the chiefs just won a super bowl i think they're going to be a little bit lazy in the first six weeks or so they might start three and three or, or something like that um, but i think as the season kind of winds down down they're going to be that same team right the chiefs are one of the top three or four best teams in the nfl and the raiders are going to have to beat them at least once this season and i think it's possible but it's going to also rely a lot on the defense to step up and i do think the defense is going to be better as well Uh, patrick graham now has his second year with the same guys and i know some people are going to say well the secondary is not a whole lot better i think just because the secondary is unproven it doesn't mean that it's not better right just because a a secondary you don't know some of those guys um, i think there's some upside there right tyler hall duke shelley uh, i think are two guys that have some upside nate hobbs may have a lot of upside Uh, amongst a couple other guys i think this defense should be better and i think if the defense is better we should be able to split the division you know at least three three maybe four two depending on if we beat the broncos twice Uh, But the Broncos are better this year as well because the Broncos have obviously a brand new head coach, one of the better coaches that at least we've kind of been told, um, obviously a Super Bowl winning coach in Sean Payton. Um, But, you know, it's not always, you know, a a coach may have success with one team and might might not have success right away, right? It may take a little bit of time for that guy to have success. But uh, as we know, as someone who's placed the Broncos year in, year out, 
Uh, the, the Broncos have built a solid defense, right? Really, really solid secondary. Um, and to me, if Sean Payton can put it all together, that team should have success as well. So we'll see what ends up happening. Uh, but I do think in 2023, the Raiders will be better. And those are just some of the reasons as to why. I want to know what you guys think. If you guys agree with me, let me know in the comments below. If you guys disagree, let me know in the comments below. Uh, and give me your guys' predictions and what you guys think will the raiders actually be better in 2023 let me know what you guys think in the comments below thumbs up subscribe now see you guys next time with another video